Hey everyone, thanks for joining me again. As you are aware, I've recently built the Easy Build um, Revel Y Wing fighter and I bought, built uh, Darth Vader's TIE fighter. So I thought I'd have a go at this one. It's another build, this is a build and play type uh, kit, so it's uh, like a click system again. This one has uh, light and sounds as well. Um, the intention is to just throw a sludge wash on this to give it a bit of uh, grime and so on. Um, I won't be doing anything else to this. So let's quickly um, have a look at the back of the box and then we'll, we'll open it and have a look at the contents. So here's the back of the box and as you can see we've got some movable parts. We can open the canopy, we can lower and raise the um, landing gear. The lights are for the engine at the back and obviously uh, I assume the sound is for the engine as well, perhaps for uh, the guns firing. <coughs> so we'll have a look at the contents now. So as you can see this is a bit differently packaged. The fuselage itself isn't within a plastic bag and it um, was braced within these two plastic parts within the box. This gives you um, some idea of scale. If I put a 9 volt battery against it you can see how big this build is going to be. And I have noticed that there's a figure for this build as well, so we'll try and do a size comparison for him. Let me just show you the uh, other parts uh, for the build. So here we have the uh, clear sections. Obviously, I think those are going to be the two nozzles for the, uh, for the engines. And that's the canopy. Here's the seat, and I think that uh, incorporates the noise-making device for the uh, engines and gun sounds. And here's all the... Uh, the other bits and pieces for the uh, for the build, so you've got the undercarriage, the engines, uh, the wings, the rear of the canopy, the guns, and also, as I mentioned before, the uh, figure, which we'll just have a look at now. So here it is. Uh, I've got an idea that this is close to 135th scale. I tried to find uh, hands again to give us a comparison, but uh, I don't know where I've put him. As you can see, the figure is... Uh, devoid of any uh, colour other than white so although I said I was just going to build this and sludge wash it I think I may have to add some colour to this guy because uh, you'll be able to see him through the canopy and it'll look a bit weird so there we go guys that's the introduction to this build when you next see this it'll uh, be completely finished so uh, I'll catch you in a bit and here is the finished build um, no issues with putting this kit together at all. Once it was together I gave it a coat of uh, pledge floor polish. Once that was dry put a, a black sludge wash over it to dirty it up and then wiped uh, most of it off and just left it in the in the recesses and round various uh, parts that I think would be uh, would, would be mucky. Um, as you know this is a um, click and play uh, kit so we do have some noises and uh, lights which I'll show you now. I enjoyed putting this together, it was a really uh, nice easy build. I did uh, paint the pilots inside as well. Um, I looked on the internet and found that the overalls were in a green. The visor I've painted like a yellow wash. The gloves are grey and the face is just a flesh tone. I didn't go into too much detail because you can see them through the copy but uh, not in much detail at all. Anyway guys, uh, thanks ever so much for watching. I hope your weekend is going well and uh, I'll catch up with you soon.